Hello folks, and welcome to Cosmoteer, Starship Architect and Commander, a game where you build and pilot starships through space. Um, much like games such as uh, Nimbatus and also uh, Reassembly. Although I think the focus here seems to be like a lot of on crew, not on crew management, but the, you have to pay attention to what the insides of a ship actually function as. Um, uh, Shogun is doing a whole series on his channel, so if you want to go watch a whole series there, or if you want me to start a whole series, let me know. But uh, at the moment, you only have a creative mode and a bounty hunter mode in the game, where basically you make a ship, kill an enemy ship, get money, and upgrade and so forth. Um, so I'm going to do a good bit of playthrough there. If you want me to carry on, um, I will do. I believe there are loads of mods for the game as well. There are, loads, there are some mods for the game as well, which vastly inc increase the amount of uh, components you can use. But at the moment, we're running completely vanilla. Anyway, so difficulty, we're going to pick as captain. I believe I believe Shogun's running an admiral. Uh, galaxy size, huge, why not? And then you can pick your starting ship, other the model L, which is highly maneuverable and supports three laser blasters that are effective at destroying enemy subsystems. Model C, which is basically model L is model laser. Model C is model cannons. The pair of powerful cannons that are inaccurate but can penetrate into the interior of enemy ships. And then you have model S, which trades offensive firepower and armor for a protective shield generator there. And then an electro bolt weapon there that can disable enemy and your weapons and shields. Um, I'm going to start off with model L. And we're going to go for there. See how it goes. I don't think there's any music in the game, but once you're in the game, there's like engine noise to counter the background. But there's no music in the game as of yet. You got the engine noise just to stop it. Anyway, expanding your fleet formations. I'm just going to go ahead and just. Anyway, so this is a fleet to start off with. Our ship here we have, you see, you have our reactor core, our crew quarters, a control room, uh, engines and weapons. So it's a fire extinguisher there in case there's a fire. Uh, so basically, ship design works as follows. You need a reactor core that produces energy. Crew will take the energy to thrusters, will take the energy to energy weapons. Um, there's also um, like projectile weapons, which require ammo, so you can build an ammo factory as well. Uh, cannons, light cannons, rail guns, flak batteries. You have also missiles. You have energy weapons. You have projectile weapons. You have missile weapons. You have defenses, which is mostly armor, but also point defense weapons, flak batteries, shield generators. You have control room, which allows a ship without a control room cannot cannot, cannot fly or, wep or or coordinate weapon fire. It can still fire technically, but it can't coordinate weapon fire. FDL drive lets you to change sector, which is required. Uh, all the thrusters, which you can improve and remove as such, and then crew as well. Then reactors, you have reactors and energy storage, because the reactors, they produce plasma batteries and energy storage stores batteries if you want to keep a stock of energy. And you have some additional miscellaneous things, like some sensors to increase your view range, tractor beams that pull or push the ships away, and just structure, which is just basically gives you a, something there, but has no armor. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to... You've got pretty much nothing here. We're we are fresh. We've got 21,000, so we can give a little bit of tweaking here. So we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to put... A, we're just going to add an extra... We're going to add an extra laser up here. I'm just going to remove the mirror mode. Um, put the laser there. You see, as soon as we get, get out of blueprint mode, someone will pick up a plasma battery there. Someone will go to man it. Yeah, plasma battery is included. Good. Let's do our first enemy target. At some point, we'll have to put in the FTL here. So there, we're in a system that has three enemy ships in it. We've right-clicked one, and at the moment, all you do is basically you, you, you close onto a ship and you open fire upon it. Right. We're firing. I can pause as well. So here, here we have an enemy ship. You win, at least in Bounty Hunter mode, by destroying all enemy reactors. Once all enemy reactors are down, you've won. So we can either focus on specific guns, or we can focus straight onto the reactor because the reactor on a, on this Y Scout is very badly armored, as in it's like it's pretty much completely exposed. And just open fire immediately. There you go. You got thirteen thousand there, and take a little bit of damage. We will repair after a fight. Repair up, and yeah, let's just let's just see what we can change here. What can we do here to improve our ship? First things first, we will we will need before long a uh, FTL drive. So I'm gonna head I'm gonna go ahead and, and stick that in right now. Um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clear this entire sector first of all, then we'll build a ship from scratch. What we'll do, because we'll, we'll, we'll clear this, we'll, we'll clear this first sector. There we go. We'll clear this entire sector, and then we'll build a ship from scratch. Uh, speed up. There we go. Let's see, this is a little bit better armored, although there's the cockpit's in the middle there. Cockpit's gone. So it can no longer control its engines. It's now spinning out of control. We're out of we're, we're clearly out of power here. So weapons need to, weapons need to get restocked with energy. My phone just beeps. Don't do that phone. There we go. There we go. Target number two and lunar target number three as well. Just to guarantee. While we're doing that, we'll also repair the damage we've got. Okay. Once you've done all that, we'll, we'll build a quick ship from scratch. That will uh, do several things. Oh, it'll, 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 we'll start up. We need we need maneuvering thrusters. We'll need um, a reactor. We'll need crew. We'll need a control panel. Probably swap up some missiles. I haven't actually tried a missile ship yet, so we'll see if we can get a missile ship operational. Anyway, there you go. No weapons now. It has this, it's got side point defenses. It's gonna ram us, is it? Nope, it's gonna try to for a second there. There we go. It's got no control anymore. There we go. Just unload everything we've got. You see, these are these are armor panels here. You can see the little, the little cross hatching. That's an armor panel. Focus on the reactor, please. There you go. Good. Right. So you have about fifty-seven thousand plus whatever the ship is actually worth. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna access we're gonna access build, which is Old shift to access build, okay. Right, let us remove everything. Right, so 57 there plus 46, you have about 113,000 to play around with. Uh, let's build up the, let's put up the mirror line as well. So you can find that the center line of the ship is, so we can work around that. Right, first things first, I'm gonna require some power. So I'm gonna put myself a small reactor right there. Uh, behind, I'm gonna put some corridor access as well. Because you can, they can, people can walk through rooms, but it's a lot slower to walk through a room. So, give us, um, give us a large thruster, a couple of two-way thrusters here for maneuverability, a couple of corridors there, three three-way thrusters in the corridors. Yeah, put some three-way thrusters there. Uh, then we're gonna go. What's our what's our weapon gonna be? So I want to try missiles, right? I want to give missiles a, a shot. It might be tricky because they are quite expensive compared to everything else. So we might put like one, yeah, we might be able to do like one launcher at the front. One HE missile, oh god, the HE missile, that's actually, that's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. EMP, you know, that's big as well. Okay, this is going to ruin my symmetry. <laughs> this is going to ruin my symmetry, but I'll, I'll have to... Also, factories are kind of slightly inconvenient in that they have this corner on the right-hand side, can't have a door on it. But, you know what, screw it, that there. Uh, cool. Let's also bring up. We also require a control room, uh, an FDL drive behind that. Uh, let us get some corridor up. I mean, we can bring all that down, actually. Uh, that down, that down, that down. There we go. Nope, nope. Down there. That can go away. There's no door access here, isn't it? Let's put some doors. Really? You can't have doors at the back. Oh dear. Okay, that. Well, we're gonna go even more. We're gonna go even more. Uh, let's, we're gonna lose all the. Uh... There you go. We're gonna lose all the. That can't, that can't go there either. Um, okay, so in this case, if we're gonna lose, if we're losing, if we're gonna lose symmetry, regardless. Let's do this then. Go away. Thank you. Uh, right. Uh, okay, so. Symmetry's gone to pot now. Um, in that case, we're actually going to bring this down a bit. Uh, right, we need some other weapons. We can't just have that there. We've, still, we've got about 20,000 to make this feasible. We haven't got any crew spacing yet, so we'll have to put some crew in. In that case, I'm going to put this up to this side here. I'm going to put a... Me, 
this is like how much power you require, or how much like the recommendations of how much you need, how efficient our FTL drive is, how much crew we need, and how much power we require. We don't need much power yet because I haven't added any other weapons yet. Because I'm currently got missiles, I'm currently not going to go for additional power, ad additional uh, weapons that require um, no crew access. There's no crew access because there's no crew. Why is there no crew access? Because there's no crew. Okay, so we have basically we have a. Some, uh, a big heavy laser blaster. That. We need some crew, so we'll get some crew in. Some crew there. Six. How much crew do you want? You want 19 crew? Really? Oh, good heavens. 12. Um, some of the six would be 18. Put you there, you go. 18 is not quite what we need, but it'll have to do for now. And let's quickly get some a little bit of armor left. Armor triangle at the very front. Armor wedge on the left hand side. Armor wedge on the right hand side. Armor there. Which is 3000 at the moment. That there. That there. 56,000. Right, this is going to be. This is. A messy. <laughs> this is extremely, extremely messy. We're also going to put in a, a bit of extra. Um, I'm going to put in a little bit. Can I put more thrusters in? I kind of need more maneuvering thrusters. I haven't got enough. I've not got enough. I've not got enough retro burn at the moment. So can I get some? Can I put like this in there, there, and there? We're slightly above. We are slightly over. So we're going to remove one square of armor. There, just to make it so it's feasible. Uh, we'll put some structure. If we move that down, put, some, put, put a bunch of structure down as well, so you have an idea of what's going to happen in the future. That's kind of where I want to go here. Where's the, where's the central? Where's the center line? Ooh, don't delete modifications. Right. So I kind of need to go another, another square over here, basically. We're currently a bit lopsided. Uh, right. So if I make it so. Okay, we have our design. Our current design is online. We're currently building missiles. Okay, we've got three missiles in... Three missiles in stock, three missiles in backup. Plus the energy blaster is online. That's a messy ship. That is a messy, messy ship. Uh, right. Next place in the galaxy. We were here at Omega Epsilon. We're going to go to Pemico because this is... Amateur, there is also Veteran, then after Veteran there is, I think Elite is now, that's not Elite, after Veteran is, after, no, it's, 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 it's Amateur, Professional, Veteran, Elite, and then Vanguard is the last one. Can you find Vanguard anywhere? Is there Vanguard on this, in this system? And things get progressively like, harder, like... When I when I when I gave this game a brief tryout, I managed to get through professional. Then, for a joke, I went into into an, uh, a vanguard system just to see what was going to happen, and I got myself wrecked. Anyway, let's go next place over. Jump to there. My current ship is a mess. What's it look like from the outside? It's still called Model L, is it? Engage. Let's see what happens. Let's go to the next fight. I've never really used missiles. I have used a railgun before, and if, if if all goes badly, I will use it again. Let's go over. Let's start over there because we need to get at least a kill so we can start working on our uh, armor. All right. Here you see our range, so we'll be we'll be over here. So you can, if you want to, like control where your ship is going to engage from. But oh, hang on. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, missile first hitting. You seem to have. Wingbat has two side master uh, blasters. Other than that, nothing. Okay, so that's was that one gone. No, it's still damaged. Focus that. One. That's down. Focus on the other one. Missile miss. Ooh, hit. Okay, missiles are hitting, and it's as they as they get fired, they start they, they replenish them. That's why you need that's why you need the extra crew to keep. Just to, to keep power and missiles moving along. Oh, those missiles are just going crazy, aren't they? Oof. 
one. Ooh. Just blasting it to bits now. I've never been this systematic before. This I think the village destroyed pretty much everything. Anyway. Let us see what we can do as repair the ship and also add some armor. So we can actually a little bit of we got it, we have a little bit of space here, so no, let's not remove mirror mode, because mirror mode is not what we want right now. We've got a, we have an unbalanced ship. And by unbalanced I mean we are off to one side. So I'm gonna actually use a lot of things I haven't used used before. Put an electro bolter in there as well. Um we have fourteen thousand to make it work. Okay, we're gonna put in we're gonna remove move that down there, move that down there. With some armor as well. There, there, there. And put some more maneuvering thrusters on the side there. Okay, so we have our missiles. Make it so. Now this we can switch this to uh EMP missiles if I had an EMP missile factory, nukes if you had that. And proximity mines as well, if I had one of those. I don't have any of those at the moment. I could, of course, build them. Mine factory costs 30,000. Same size as an EMP factory, I assume. Yeah. Then there's a nuke factory, which is a 4x4. Four four. Yes. Is it 4x4? Four four? Yes, 4x4. Four four. Okay, so that's our current ship. How are we doing, actually? How are we doing crew wise we kind of want a little bit more crew now so i actually will see if i can i've got the space as well and we'll see if i can add next a bit more crew uh crew give me another crew quarters over here it's a bit of a mess down here but it's enough for people to move around we are slightly under power right now um but i can't afford making new generators so we'll have to be slightly underpowered for a bit now the new crew will help out and uh, refit the electro bolter there you go. Okay, the electro bolt is online. All the the engines are but the engines are actually ooh, the engines cannot be reached. Okay. That's our problem there. Those engines cannot be reached. Uh so you're actually gonna have to go there. And you're gonna have to go there in a dramatic change of turn of event. This is this be even less symmetrical. Even less symmetry. Even less symmetry. There you go. Let's see how those engines are online now. It is definitely slow for them to move through rooms, as you can see, but... Right, okay. Let's go for another room. They're also quite close to each other over there. It's just kind of disconcerting... It's kind of disconcerting that... Actually, you're, you're, you're being separate, actually. Let's see if we can get you from that side. No, attack from this side. What are you doing? Yeah, attack from over there. All right, speed up. Whereas we've slowed down considerably now as well. We probably could do with more... Wow, okay, really? If you're going to be that pedantic about slowing down for every corner. Right. It's all the way. Oh, it's one of these again. That electro blast is coming out. Ooh, straight down the middle. There you go. Ka-ching. Quick repairs. Parts damaged. They shot my missiles. What I can do, of course, is... This ship's a bit small, but missiles can go side because they're because they are homing. They need to they don't need to go front on. So in a future design, you can put missiles like on the back or on the sides. How much is this? this is worth one hundred twenty four thousand. Once I get to two hundred thousand, I'll see if I can make what I what I made when I was trying this out. Okay, missiles out. What are you? What, are you, what have you got? Side mounted electro bolts. That's it, really. Okay. They can shut down my weapon systems, though, but they can't shut them all at once, and the missile's already out. Are you pushing against me? Because you are pushing against. Oh, there you go. All your, all your, all your engines are out, pretty much, other than that one retro over there. There you go. Lovely. So one fifty-three, give or take. Last one. I repair this though. Six parts damaged. Okay. Come on, one left. One left, and then I'll show you the scope of how things can get and how things. I'm very because I'm very bad at ship design. When it comes to things like this, I tend to design like death boxes and stuff like that. But you can see how how um, impressive the ships can actually get in this game, and you might even recognize one of them. 
Oh, there you go. There you go. That's down. That's down. That, could, that couldn't get repowered. Good. So 164, give or take, combining our money with our current worth. Um, we'll do some repairs. I haven't lost any parts yet. All right, next place over. We can have to go professional. I guess go professional now then. This might be dangerous, but that's what we're doing. Okay. If the bigger your ship is, the more FTL drives it requires to be as efficient. Otherwise, you have to end up using way too much of this. And you get this by you get FTL fuel by killing enemies. But if you run out, you have to buy. Or if you run out and you can't buy anymore, you have to downsize your ship to buy more. Okay, this is this, this is just the basic mode. This is just the framework at the moment. So I'm hoping you can see. Like, ooh, hey, what do we have here? What do we have here? This is definitely way more equipped than mine. Way more equipped than mine. It has. Power, point defense, point defense, point defense, point defense. Couple of heavy blasters, couple of electrobolts, and a shield generator. This is not good. Uh, let's go straight for the weapon systems, I think. More important, get the weapon systems out. We've taken so much damage to our rocket. Yep, we've lost our missiles. We've lost large amounts of our ship there. We've lost huge amounts of our ship. We've lost our control thing. We lost our control. Yeah, we are. And we've also been hit by someone on the side as well. You're actually in range. So we're gonna lose we're gonna lose our ship entirely right now. <laughs> Which is bad. I should have been a bit less cavalier about going to professional space. And something have a, a bit more powerful ship. Right. So I think now we have to go to menu. <laughs> And frankly, load game. Uh, I'll just save the brief one. There we go. That's the one we just had. Hopefully, we won't be too far back. It's every ten minutes, so I think we just think we're in the middle of the previous area. Oh, cancel that! Let's cancel that! It was before we jumped. Okay, right. Before we jump here, then let's have a quick check about what can we do here because that was shockingly bad. Um, Missiles, so far, I think with this amount, it isn't really doing much, so I'm not going to say no to missiles. Um, my previous helpful design is... was... Let's turn on the uh, mirror mode. I'm actually going to remove... You know what? Clear out the whole ship, then we have the entire money to play around with here. Because I'm going to build my ship very specifically. I'm going to build very much very specifically because my ship is going to be built around a railgun. Railgun loader. Railgun accelerator. Which you can add as many. All a railgun is is this basically. A railgun requires a loader and a launcher. You can put more accelerate more accelerators to increase the damage. So I need that. I'm also going to need um, corridor all all along. Because they need to get, they need to be able to put power there. We're gonna put in, uh, ooh, ooh. Uh, because until you hit make it, so nothing actually changes. So we can actually, do, we can actually play around with here. We're gonna put in the control room here. Let's put the control. Let's put corridors all down the center. There. Um, we'll put in FDL drive there. We'll put in uh, a a small generator. That's nowhere near. That's, that is kind of enough, isn't it? Pretty much. All we need is cause all that needs power at the moment is just the rock. Is that so? We might have to up it to a medium at some point. We'll, we'll hopefully we'll, we'll leave space for that. Um, right. We need we need to move. We haven't got any thrust at the moment, so let's put some thrust. Put some. Put a large thruster at the back. A couple of uh, two ways there and there. Uh, we have we haven't got any ammo, so we need we need to make ammo. Ammo we need an ammo factory as well. Actually, that's one thing. Yeah, we need an ammo factory. Let's actually increase that up there. There we go. And ammo factory is going to go over here. So put the doors on the side as well. There we go. Ammo factory. There we go. Uh, doors on the side as well. Uh, yeah, make sure there's doors between everything here. There we go. 
Okay, so we have ammo. We have power. We need now... Actually, how thin can I make my ship design? Good question. Um, I've still got like about 55,000 to play around with here, so... Put that there. Put that... Uh, there. So we have double thrust, double reverse thrusters, two to the left, two to the right. Actually, three because of these ones as well. Um, can we just get away? Can we, can we get away with one weapon? I don't think we can. I don't think we can. But yeah. do a bit of that there, because that I've learned that this basically makes it a lot harder for them to hit your railgun, because they just have to get through the the gap, which can be can be tricky. Um. I'm going to put in a couple of point defenses here as well. A couple of point defenses there just to stop anything, any missiles or also cannon fire hitting us. Um, I'm going to put another uh, freeway thruster here. Now we need, how much crew do you want? So you want us to have 12 crew. We are very inefficient on our fuel, but we, need, we want 12 crew. You have enough power. Okay, so. Quarters, 12 crew is, and that's, okay, so it's actually inefficient to go for this. I was going to say, so just put one, two, three, four, five, it's 20, right? Oh yeah, it's 20, well, yeah, okay. excuse me, I forgot, I forgot I forgot about the doubling, the doubling system. Right. Put that there, put that there, put that there, that's 12, uh, which leaves us with quite a bit of money to just do armor up some more, uh, which we will do. Okay, this is our current ship. If you go back, to, if you, so if you make it so, let's paint it for a bit. Okay, Model L is no longer an appropriate name for this. Let's remove, this is no longer the Model L. This is now, this has to be called something else now. This is gonna be called, uh, Uh, model R. All I have is a railgun. All I have is a railgun right now, so... Ooh. The model R. Uh, that is... See, I'm not good at ship design. <laughs> there's, a, there's plenty of space for very good ship design here, and I'm not one of them. Anyway, let's give this one more shot. Uh... One more shot. I'm just ba I'm, I'm just banking on a single railgun. That's what I'm doing here. Get back to your stations. Thank you. All right, engage. Right. Now everyone's far, everyone's far apart. Thankfully, let's go to the top here. Let's see if you can deal with the ones at the top. Because we have a railgun, our, our, our engagement range is actually much much further away. Which I'm looking forward to being a thing. Right, okay. We're getting closer, we're getting closer. We are almost in visual range. We are in visual range. What are we dealing with here? Uh, big cannons, but no shields. So focus shots on the reactor. If we get a good shot in, that could be oh, this, could, this could all be over. No, not a good shot, but it just went straight through the side. Has definitely caused it to turn. Point defense. Point defense is helping us out. There you go. Sniped right down the middle. <laughs> the railgun can be such a beautiful ship. There we go. Bit of repair. We lost uh, one of the point defense guns and one of our thrusters. Other than that, that wasn't too bad. Uh, what I will do then, a little, little, little tweak here, is I'm gonna, gonna move this. Can I move this slightly? I can move it slightly further back. Okay, so we'll, move it, we'll put that there. Uh, put the put you. Hang on. Put you. Put another point defense there. Just double up on our point defenses, and give us a corridor there. It's gonna cost me two thousand two hundred, but it also means I can put in a bit more armor here. What I, what 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 you do see quite often in um, in this game is. Thank you, bike outside. Please regulate your engine a bit better. Is you see um, 
ships that have gaps in their structure specifically for thrusters. Specifically for thrust. Um, so what I could do, what I could do is, hang on. You, can, you should go back a square. Put you there. Um, then you get you get you get rid of you entirely. And I want to think this. I want I want to think this through because what I can do here, what I'm thinking about doing, to get more put in. Hang on, where is it? Give me thrust, right? Uh, small thruster. No, no, small thruster. There. 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 Then we will, because then we can do this. We're going to put a corridor here and here. Put a door there as well. Come on. There you go. Then we can armor up here and here. Uh, we need to, we're, we're, we've got, we lost a lot of crew there, which is fine. We knew, we knew where we were going to, so put some crew down there, there, and there. We still need to be still slightly under crewed, so we want to put some more crew in. There, crew sorted out. Power. A little bit under power again. Um, what I can do in that front, however, if I do this, put that out there. Why is that up there? Put that over there. And I can do. I can essentially do that, which basically makes sure we have plenty of that. Can I do this? Forty-one thousand is feasible. That is possible. Uh, door there. Door there. Door there. Uh, door there. I haven't put any any um, fire extinguishers yet, have I? That's a mistake on my part. That could well have easily be a mistake on my part. So let's put some fire. Let's put some fire engines. Some fire engines. Some fire extinguishers here. And that is our current ship design. We can put that. We can put um, that there. Actually, no, let's put, uh, let's put an armor wedge there. How's that looking from the outside? Make it so. Hang on. The model R. Double FTL, so our FTL is efficient, but our gun is active. We've got double point defense. Like, theoretically, what, you should, what, I should, what I could also be doing is putting, putting one of these further up here. But anyway, we got what we want. Next ship. Then I'll show you one of the big ships you can. That's comes pre-built in the game. You can have an idea of what's going, what what can happen. Right, let's get closer. Right. They're faster than us at the moment. See. There you go. You see the it's a yacht. We're putting shots into. Took out one side entirely. Ooh, they've done. They've destroyed our railgun. Yeah, our railgun, our railgun is damaged. Right, we need, to, we, need to, we need to engage. We need to engage closer. Okay, get closer to engagement because we are actually so far out. We need, we need to. We need our. We need our point defense guns to start shooting now, which we can't do. They've wrecked us. They've wrecked us. I've got nothing now. Not control. Anyway, um, let me quick hop into a um, a creative game. Just to see if you can see how big the ships go. Ooh, there's, there's also a multiplayer system. Um, I might be doing some multiplayer with Shogun at this at some point, as long as we can sort of figure out how to do it. Uh, what would be an interesting way of doing it? But if you hop into creative, give me, give me a huge galaxy as well. Why not? Well, why not? And we can summon up a ship. And see if you recognize it. It's not accurate, of course. But if I go for shapes that are not that include the built-in ships, it's this one, which you may recognize. It's called the Archangel. Um, and th this is how big this is. get an idea how big this is. My pro my previous so we go to ship library. My current lost ship. My last lost ship, which was. This one is this big. My initial ship was this big. The, the ship you get like a, you think you get a hundred by a hundred square, a hundred by hundred um, grid to fight in. So this is the Archangel. We have a galaxy to fight in. Is it is it an empty galaxy? 
It might be an empty galaxy. Fine. Let's get let's get something else then. Uh, right. So we'll put in but a but a battle helper. Ah, okay. Um, and with that, sure. Add ship, uh, built-in ship. Add an archangel there, sure. And then player two, add in. That also costs two million. This guy also costs two million. Uh, see, there's the constellation class. There's a crescent wrath. Uh, crystal angel. Crystal angel is one point nine million. So I have a quick, let's, let's, let's compare you two together. And uh, go at it, folks. You fight. Yeah, you're, there you are. You're, you're fighting each other. Massive central railgun there. Side missiles coming out the back. Massive beams coming out of several arrays. You see how you have here. We have ion beamers, which can use ion. Pr we can use prisms to focus their beams. So two beamers focus into that one, shoot there, put into that one. Two beams into that one, shoot over there. Two beams into this one, shoot over here. These two focus into there and there, and you have massive, massive beams. And you can have a lot of massive DACA fights. And you. Uh, focus on the fight's only over. All react. Ooh, so, both sides of the archangel stripped down. That's what you get when you, have, when you haven't got a prim, a prim birth to deal with. Yeah, focus on those prisms. Take if you want to take those prisms down, we lose a lot of its power. You need to focus on, the, on those beams there. Wow, we've just lost a lot more here. Right. Battle helper, give me battle helper. We must help. <laughs> add in, add in. What shall we add in? Add in uh, the fracture, which always looks like a bit. Uh, okay, there you go. The fracture comes in, helps out. On the fire king, it's a triple railgun in the middle. Entire battery of lasers on one side, flak batteries in the other. Missiles on the back quarter there. The Crystal Angel has just left the, 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 the Archangel alone, which is still not the wisest choice, because it is firing back, although... And you need to shoot out those, those prisms. Are they, you're not even obeying my orders, are you? You just miss. Those beams are doing fantastic work of just shearing off entire sections on that hull. Look at that, just, just cleared off the entire damaging side over there. Oh, fine. We'll add in some more help. That, oh, yeah, the Crystal Angel's still attacking. Good. The Fracture's still part of the Fracture. That's, that's, that could still probably attack, because it's got crew members in it. But look at this. Look at the internals of this ship. It's got crew members. It's got engines. It's got energy. All of these weapons are still totally... They can't move, because they haven't got any thrusters, but they're fully operational. It's only, it's only repair you to full as well. Oh, yeah, you, get, you get split apart now. Right, other side, we'll add in we'll add in the Terror, because the Terror is like the biggest ship, because the, the biggest pre-built ship in the game is the Terror. Where's the Terror? There it is. And that Terror is basically Missile Glory, the ship. Shields everywhere. Shield, oh, these are all shield batteries. All the missiles in the world come out and play. Take out all the flak on one side. This thing weighs, this thing's like 4.7, yeah, four, it starts off like 4.3 million. The Archangel's still around, the Archangel's still actually workable. It's lost pretty much all its weapons. It's going for the ram. <laughs> going for the ram. Disrupting a little bit there. Archangel, again, it's it has AI, so it knows that all its weapons are at the back, so it's trying to get its back to face the terror, but it's going to get hit by so many missiles. Oh, beautiful, look at that. Yeah, this is Cosmeteer. Like, again, at the moment, it's free demo. The game will be free up until release, as far as I understand it. And it's a uh, really good fun as, a, as, 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 a, as an engine with which to play games around in. I'm not sure there's enough here for an entire campaign, but if you think there is, um, Shogun's doing one on hard, and Shogun's passing around with a couple of um, mods as well. There's, I think there's a Star Wars mod, which he's not using, but also like a mod that just adds a ton of extra functionality and a ton of extra components, both vanilla style and all things like change that completely change the um, 
the systems of the game. But yeah, this has been Cosmeteer. If you enjoyed it, uh, let me know. And I'll catch you all next time, folks. See you then. Bye. Look at that. Look at, oh, look at that missile. Look at, the, look at, look at all that DACA. So the sides got wrecked here by something else. Possibly by missiles from the back of the fracture. But let's get back to the fracture. Yep, fracture's dead. All that's left now is frankly a little bit of the, as, as half, <laughs> the half a million left of the uh, Archangel. Oh, go on then. Let's give us, let's give us something else. Give me one more here. What was one? What was one? I was a really huge fan of as well. Um, come on, where is it? I can never make a shape this nice. I can never make a shape this good at all. Haxor. There you are over there. Attack your target, please. We have here several several ion beamers, all focusing on two um, ion prisms. Deploying mines as well. Several mines being deployed. But the, there's the triple... There's the triple ion beam here. It's quite hidden quite far back. Also, the, the terror is actually quite cleverly made, because its center of mass isn't actually in the ship. But look at that damn it! Look, look at that damage. This thing is not made to fight missiles off, is it? There you go. The fracture, the, the fracture is still firing. The fracture is still firing. Even though technically doesn't exist anymore, that bit does. Start shooting over there, please. It didn't even get into range. It could not even get into range to fire its ion beams, because again, because of the. Let's move you further in, please. Get in closer. Because right now, you're so far back, you're not even... There you go. Beams are now coming out. Although it's far too late for that now. Wow, it's completely demolished. Anyway, that's Cosmetier, folks. Catch you all next time. Bye-bye.